வணக்கம் இந்த செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் த கோல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எ பிஸ்னஸ் த காம்ப்ளெக்டிக் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டிஸ் இன்வால்வ் த நீட் ஃபார் இஆர்பி டு மீட் த கோல்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பிஸ்னஸ் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் த இஆர்பி அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் வித் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் த ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் இஆர்பி ஃபார் எனி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் தெர் ஆர் டூ கோல்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் டு மேக் மோர் மணி நவ் as well as in the future and then increase the value of stakeholders the stakeholders are those who work for the company that is suppliers employees utility providers etc those who buy from the company that is the customers those who own the company that is the owners and stockholders organizations strive to provide value to customers while protecting their financial value the world is continuously changing and throwing challenges even to sustain in business through volatility uncertainty complexity and ambiguity this is called oka volatility we live in a world that is constantly changing becoming more unstable each day where changes big and small are becoming more unpredictable and they are getting more and more dramatic and the happening faster and faster as the events unfold in completely unexpected ways it is becoming impossible to determine cause and effect uncertainty it is becoming more difficult to anticipate events or predict how they will unfold historical forecast and past experiences are losing their relevance and are rarely applicable as a basis for predicting the shape shape of the things to come it is nearly impossible to plan for investment development and growth as it becomes increasingly uncertain where the route is heading complexity our modern world is more complex than ever what are the reasons what are the effects problems and their repercussions are more multi layered harder to understand the different layers intermingle making it impossible to get an overview of how things are related ambiguity one size fits for all and best practice have been relegated to yesterday in today's world it is rare for things to be completely clear or precisely determinable not everything is black and white gray is also an option the demands on modern organizations and management are more contradictory and paradoxical than ever challenging our personal value systems to the core so this is the major issues which are putting the business into big turbulence due to the wuka factors there is always a conflict in business to achieve reliable and consistent performance a business should address customer satisfaction through reduced lead time consistent on time delivery good service etc at the same time protecting the financials of the organization through increased profitability and reduced working capital to meet customer satisfaction supply chain organizations procure more materials with the key assumption of keeping higher inventory will cover supplier inefficiencies and demand fluctuations this approach leads to increased inventory and reduced cash flow which results in reduced profitability on the other side to protect the financials it is intended to procure fewer materials with the assumption that exact supply will be done perfectly by suppliers and market demand will be consistent and known but the reality leads to reduced customer service increased expedition cost and loss of sales this conflicting interests of the supply chain concerning inventory is formed like a cloud to evaporate the cloud that is to resolve the conflict an organization should be both efficient and effective effectiveness is outward focused that is on the needs of the customer while efficiency is inward focus that is on the supply chain processes simply put doing things right is efficient doing right things is effective high efficiency can increase the effective capacity of 
people, space and equipment. If an organization is efficient and not effective, all its efforts will be wasted. For example, waiting to ship customer orders of large heavy goods until the truck has other orders to send to the region can be efficient but may not be effective at satisfying customer demands for prompt delivery. So the customer may not come back to the organization. If an organization is effective and not efficient, available opportunities will be lost. For example, shipping via air can be effective at improving availability but may not be as efficient due to its high cost. So selling to the customer at affordable prices may not be possible and the opportunity will be lost. To become a leader in the market, an organization should be both efficient and effective. To become efficient and effective, an organization should address three V's. What are the three V's? Visibility, Velocity and Variability. Variability is the natural tendency of the results of all business activities to fluctuate above and below an average value. In this VUCA world, variability from both the supply and demand are very high. This will have huge impact on the supply chain of the business. While one cannot control the variabilities from supply and demand as they are external to the organization, the impact can be reduced. To reduce the impact of variability, visibility and velocity must be improved. Visibility is the ability to view important information throughout a facility or supply chain, no matter where in the facility or supply chain the information is located. This is the definition as per Apix dictionary. This means the visibility of information must be improved and it should be available on time to make fact-based decisions. Velocity is a term used to indicate relative speed of all transactions collectively within a supply chain community. A maximum velocity is most desirable because it indicates a higher asset turnover for stockholders and faster order to delivery response for customers. Velocity can be increased by using faster transportation, reduced inventory at rest, removal of non-value added activities and accelerating the collection of account receivables, then reinvesting these funds faster in more inventory. An ERP that is Enterprise Resource Planning Software helps organizations to address these three V's to make the organizations efficient and effective. ERP allows planning, procurement and delivery, tracking of orders, planning and control, seamless flow of information through the organization, sharing data between organizations, analysis of various information. ERP refers to a type of software that organization used to manage day-to-day -day business activities including planning, purchasing, production, quality, sales and distribution, and finance and controlling, and many other areas. A complete ERP suit includes enterprise performance management, software that helps plan, budget, predict and report an organization's financial results. ERP systems tie together a multitude of business processes and enable the flow of data between them. By collecting an organization's shared transaction data from multiple sources, ERP systems eliminate data duplication and provide data integrity with a single source of truth. Today, ERP systems are critical for managing thousands of business of all sizes and in all industries. To these companies, ERP is an indispensable as the electricity that keeps the lights on. ERP systems are designed around a single defined data structure that typically has a common database. Data is the lifeblood of every business. This helps ensure that the information used across the enterprise is normalized and based on common definitions and user experiences. These core constructs are then interconnected with business processes. 
across business departments connecting systems and the people who use them simply put erp is the vehicle for integrating people processes and technologies across a modern enterprise a key erp principle is the central collection of data for wide distribution erp systems bring order so that all users from the ceo to accounts payable clerks can create store and use the same data derived through common processes with a secure and centralized data repository everyone in the organization can be confident that data is correct up to date and complete data integrity is assured for every task performed throughout the organization from a quarterly financial statement to a single outstanding receivable report erp is a framework like the steel structure of a skyscraper upon which all of the administrative functions of a given organizations are built it is a modular system and the applications can be mixed and matched to a given organization's needs however it's all about standardization while some customization and configuration can be done to match organization's processes the cost of these changes encourages organizations to adopt the best practices for business processes that are already built into the system note that the erp database creates the shared master data including materials bill of materials work centers routing suppliers customers purchase orders inventory files open order files and so on from there most organizations have a set of modules for the primary business functions this includes planning manufacturing purchase logistics sales human resources projects etc as an extension to the basic business modules there are advanced systems that are entering the mainstream for example advanced planning scheduling or demand driven mrp from planning crm from sales srm from purchase aps transportation management system warehouse management system from logistics note that the planning modules of the master production schedule material requirement planning and purchasing manufacturing they all will be discussed in our course in detail while the power and capability of erp are higher there are many challenges like implementation of erp is costlier large and accurate data are required it is time consuming activity it requires top management involvement a clear understanding of businesses are required to map the erp processes and more than all these team of right people with right skills are required you are in this course to improve your skills in one of the top most used erps by many organizations that is sap with the latest version of s4 hana 2022 here you can see a few top erps used by many organizations across the world the selection of erp is based on the nature of business size of the organization etc in this course we will be discussing in detail sap s4 hana version 2022 focusing on two modules production planning pp and materials management mm okay what is sap is it stupid and problematic is it simply a pest or it is sorry after purchase or it is suffer after purchase okay we will discuss these things in the next session in this session we discussed what is erp how erp is required for organizations to overcome the challenges thrown to them in this vuca world now let us go through some quiz questions as part of this session this is to ensure and refresh your understanding of the discussions what we had so far what are the goals of a business what is the abbreviation of oka what are three v's what is the difference between efficient and effective 
what are the key success factors to implement ERP? ERP will have multiple sources of data, true or false. Name a few key ERP software. What is the abbreviation of SAP? We'll discuss the answers in the next session. After understanding the importance and overview of ERP, we will introduce SAP in the next session. Please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents. And also please recommend to your friends and colleagues to subscribe to the channel so that they can also get the benefit of this knowledge sharing session. Meanwhile, if you would like to hire the dedicated SAP server to practice along with me, contact me in the following WhatsApp contact or email address. Thank you. See you in the next session.